What are you doing? That's not edible. Then why is it scented like watermelon? Guess the magic word for what? If you guess it right, you get to meet your soulmate, but you only get three chances and you get hints. I don't need the hint. I think I know what it is. Really? Broccoli. What? Why would it be broccoli? That was wrong? Of course it was wrong. That was a stupid guess. I don't know. I like broccoli. Stop messing around. Just take the hint. It says that it starts with the letter O. Okay, pick something simple like oval. What if it's ostrich? I don't think that it's going to be the word ostrich. <gasps> I know what it is. Oligarchy. Dude, what? Why would it be that? Do you even know what that word means? No. Ah, uh, then why would you ever guess it? I don't know. I thought it was a cool word. I'm losing brain cells. What's your next hint? It's a body of water. Come on, you have to know what this is. It's so easy. A body of water that starts with the letter O. I can't think of one. Ah! Uh! Guess the song for $10 million? I'm gonna be so good at this. 90% of my brain is song lyrics. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. <gasps> I just heard this. It was in the Barbie movie. It has to be Barbie World. Yes, I am totally gonna win. You have a peanut brain. There's no way you can win. Yeah, you wanna bet? Yeah, whoever loses has to clean the entire house for a year. Deal. 100 bands of Chanel. -y. What? Is that like a kind of pasta? Oh my god, why are you shaking your ass? Um, because I'm trying to get famous on TikTok. I'm dancing to Ice Spice's new song. Deli! This is way too easy. At least give me something hard. Why does it feel like I'm never enough? I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Oh, runner up! Duh. Won't somebody give me the antidote? I have never heard that before. How am I supposed to guess? Better figure it out or I'll win. Hey, does this shirt look bad on me? Yeah, it's hideous on you. I really hope that my soulmate has never lied to. Yeah, I don't think that it's a good thing. You have no friends because you're so brutal. I have friends. Your squishmallows don't count. Bestie, have you heard the rumor? No, what rumor? Well, I heard that. Ladies, no talking. I'll have to separate you. You can't switch our seats. I have social anxiety and she's the only one that I like. You should have thought about that before disrupting the whole class. Go sit with Jack. Ugh. Oh, can I please sit somewhere else? He smells so bad. You know I can hear, right? I don't even smell. I showered like two days ago. Sorry, that was a little bit brutal. Yeah, you think? So, where are you from, Stinky? Um, I was born in, uh, Maryland, yeah. What part of Maryland? The one where they catch the crabs. That's definitely not true. Who fucking cares anyway? I can lie if I want to. 7-1? What, is my soulmate Bigfoot or something? Man's is like a walking skyscraper. My soulmate's only 5'4! Aw, short king. No, it's not cute. Why not? All of my kids are gonna be so short. <laughs> well, it's better than the ugly gene that you're gonna give them. <gasps> I am not ugly. Um, who are you looking for? <laughs> my soulmate. That's how you're gonna find him? You know, I don't think I could miss him. He is 7'1". That is so funny considering you're like 4'11", right? Okay, first of all, I'm 5'2". Thank you. Maybe he's like an NBA player. <laughs> I really hope so. Bro, are you drinking from a salsa jar? 7'1's not like that tall, right? Are you dumb? That's really tall. <laughs> What's with all the commotion? Dude, there's a guy in the hall that literally looks like Slenderman. My soulmate! Excuse me, sorry, excuse me, I need to get through. We all want to talk to him, wait your turn. He's definitely not going to talk to you when you look like Shrek. What? Shrek? <sighs> Bro, he's literally built like the Eiffel Tower. Well, how tall do you think he actually is? It's got to be over seven feet. Can y'all stop shoving me like this is the Hunger Games? It's a dude. Wah, wah, wah. These girls are going feral for him. I'm not going to be able to get to him. Um, I think I know how we can. How? Here, get onto my shoulders. <laughs> okay. Are you sure this is safe? Nope, not at all. Okay. Hey, moving skyscraper, wait up. Hey, Bailey, how's the weather up there? Shut up. Sir, hi, how tall are you? Um, 7'3". Ugh. What, do you have something against tall guys? Oh, I'm sorry. That just means that you're not my soulmate. How tall is your soulmate? 7'1". Oh, my brother 7'1". A brother? So, where's your brother at? Um, I don't know. He didn't come with me. What do you mean you don't know? It's, like, urgent. Why do you care so much about where my brother is? Uh, hard to explain. You are so weird. I'm out. Uh, wait, please. Bro, no. You're freaking me out. Can you just leave me alone? Okay, I'm sorry. So, do you want to get down or... Yes, I want to get off your shoulders. 
Whatever, he looked like a grasshopper and his brother probably does too. You're just mad he didn't like you. Do you think that the brother goes here too? Who knows, but he's 7-1. I'll see him. Yeah, but will he even see you? What do you mean? You're just like so much shorter than him. I've had enough of the short slander. This is so annoying. Oh my god, there's two of them! Two of who? We need to get his attention, now! Throw something at him! Okay. Not a glass! Oh! Bro, are you kidding me? Which one of you just threw a glass at my head? Should we run? Um, I think so. Yeah, okay. You two, stop right there! So are you the one who threw the glass? Guilty. You need to come with us to the office now. Damn, we got caught. There was like 12 witnesses. Thanks to you, he now has a concussion. He has a concussion? I just wanted to get his attention. So you throw the most dangerous thing you could find. It seemed like a better idea at the time. Wait, are you the girl who's been harassing my brother? Uh, no, it wasn't me. Who else would have purple hair? Shit. Could you just tell me why you did it? Because I needed to talk to you. To me? About what? How tall is your soulmate? Um, I am not telling you that. Just tell me. It says 5'2". Wait, don't tell me you think that we're soulmates. Surprise! No way, you are not going to be my soulmate. What's that supposed to mean? You are obviously some kind of crazy. I don't like it. That is not true. I told you why I threw the glass. Yeah, but that doesn't justify it. Uh, well... I am so done with this game you're playing, I'm leaving. No, wait! So, um, I don't think he's gonna press charges. He didn't seem very concussed. That's the girl who threw the glass. <gasps> really? Why are y'all whispering about me when I'm right here? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know you could hear us. Of course I can hear you! It's just embarrassing that you were so desperate for attention. Whatever, it's also embarrassing that your hair looks like that. My hair is $3,000! <laughs> Um, I think that our plan may have backfired a little. Yeah, just like the smallest bit. I know he's my soulmate. I just need a new plan. What? It's not like you can go after his twin. Wait. No, do not tell me that. Hey, you. What? Are you going to throw a glass at my head, too? No. You're going to use me to get my brother. No, that's not what I'm doing at all. I promise. It's clear you're just desperate for a soulmate. No, I was trying to get your attention all along. I just thought you were really cute. Wait, really? Would you want to hang out with me? Yeah, yeah, love to. Here's my number. Thanks. That was, like, suspiciously easy. No, there's got to be a catch, right? There definitely is. He just said that I was harassing him, and he agrees that fast? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're cute. I know. Oh my gosh, what if he, like, murders you or something? Okay, let's not manifest that for me. Thanks. It should be one, four. Yep, this is it. Hey, uh, welcome in. <laughs> Hi. Both of you? Listen, we just have a few things to ask you. So, why are you such a whore? Excuse me? Uh, I'm just messing with you. That's not one of the questions. Okay, not funny, but go on. You need to tell me how tall your best friend is. She's 5'6", why? Because my soulmate is 5'6", too. Don't tell me you think she's your soulmate. She might be if you're my brother's. I already said I don't want you as a soulmate. I don't want you either, skyscraper. So, can you help me here? No. What? Why not? <sighs> I just don't want to. It's because she's a selfish bitch. Can he leave the room? Because he's really killing the vibes. Yeah, bro, get out of here. Listen, I'll help you get my best friend if you help me get your brother. Ah, uh, Okay, I guess I can help you. Fine. Deal. Just don't throw any more glasses at his head. I know, that was a one-time thing, I swear. Hmm, I have an idea. I need to go find my best friend. Can you convince your brother not to hate me? I will try my best. Okay, thanks. Bestie. Hey, what's up? I have some tea. Do you want to hear it? Um, yes, always. Do you know that kid who's 7'3"? How could I not? I heard he has a crush on you. Oh, I'm not interested. He's not really my type. What do you mean he's not your type? He's so tall. Yeah, but it's like a little too tall. Didn't you just call your soulmate a walking skyscraper? No, I love men that are two feet taller than me. Right. 
Just forget it, okay? I don't want him. Wait, please. I'll pay you. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. How much are we talking here? A thousand dollars. Oh, absolutely. I'll do whatever. Yay! Oh, I'm gonna be dirt poor. This is so dumb. He's not my soulmate anyway. Mine's 5'9". Wait, what? 7'1"? What, is my soulmate Bigfoot or something? Man's is like a walking skyscraper. My soulmate's only 5'4"? Aw, oh, short king. No, it's not cute. Why not? All of my kids are gonna be so short. <laughs> well, it's better than the ugly gene that you're gonna give them. I am not ugly. Um, who are you looking for? My soulmate. That's how you're gonna find him? You know, I don't think I could miss him. He is 7'1". That is so funny considering you're like 4'11", right? Okay, first of all, I'm 5'2". Thank you. Maybe he's like an NBA player. <laughs> I really hope so. Bro, are you drinking from a salsa jar? 7'1's not like that tall, right? Are you dumb? That's really tall. <laughs> What's with all the commotion? Dude, there's a guy in the hall that literally looks like Slenderman. My soulmate! Excuse me, sorry, excuse me, I need to get through. We all want to talk to him, wait your turn. He's definitely not going to talk to you when you look like Shrek. What? Shrek? <sighs> Bro, he's literally built like the Eiffel Tower. Well, how tall do you think he actually is? It's got to be over seven feet. Can y'all stop shoving me like this is the Hunger Games? It's a dude! Wow, wow, wow. These girls are going feral for him. I'm not going to be able to get to him. Um, I think I know how we can. How? Here, get onto my shoulders. <laughs> okay. Are you sure this is safe? Nope, not at all. Okay. Hey, moving skyscraper, wait up. Hey, Bailey, how's the weather up there? Shut up. Sir, hi, how tall are you? Um, 7'3". Ugh. What? Do you have something against tall guys? Oh, I'm sorry. That just means that you're not my soulmate. How tall's your soulmate? Seven one. Oh, my brother's seven one. A brother? So where's your brother at? Um, I don't know. He didn't come with me. What do you mean you don't know? It's like urgent. Why do you care so much about where my brother is? Uh, hard to explain. You are so weird. I'm out. Uh, wait, please. Bro, no, you're freaking me out. Can you just leave me alone? Okay, I'm sorry. So, do you want to get down or... Yes, I want to get off your shoulders. Whatever, he looked like a grasshopper and his brother probably does too. You're just mad he didn't like you. Do you think that the brother goes here too? <laughs> Who knows, but he's 7-1. I'll see him. Yeah, but will he even see you? What do you mean? You're just like so much shorter than him. I've had enough of the short slander. This is so annoying. Oh my god, there's two of them! Two of who? We need to get his attention, now! Throw something at him! Okay! Not a glass! Oh! Bro, are you kidding me? Which one of you just threw a glass at my head? Should we run? Um, I think so. Yeah, okay. You two, stop right there! So are you the one who threw mm -hmm. the glass? Guilty. You need to come with us to the office now. Damn, we got caught. There was like 12 witnesses. Thanks to you, he now has a concussion. He has a concussion? I just wanted to get his attention. So you throw the most dangerous thing you could find. It seemed like a better idea at the time. Wait, are you the girl who's been harassing my brother? Uh, no, it wasn't me. Who else would have purple hair? Shit. Could you just tell me why you did it? Because I needed to talk to you. To me? About what? How tall is your soulmate? Um, I am not telling you that. Just tell me. It says 5'2". Wait, don't tell me you think that we're soulmates. Surprise! No way, you are not going to be my soulmate. What's that supposed to mean? You are obviously some kind of crazy. I don't like it. That is not true. I told you why I threw the glass. Yeah, but that doesn't justify it. Uh, well... I am so done with this game you're playing, I'm leaving. No, wait! So, um, I don't think he's gonna press charges. He didn't seem very concussed. That's the girl who threw the glass. <gasps> really? Why are y'all whispering about me when I'm right here? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't know you could hear us. Of course I can hear you! It's just embarrassing that you were so desperate for attention. Whatever, it's also embarrassing that your hair looks like that. My hair is $3,000! <laughs> 
Um, I think that our plan may have backfired a little. Yeah, just like the smallest bit. I know he's my soulmate. I just need a new plan. What? It's not like you can go after his twin. Wait. No, do not tell me that. Hey, you. What? Are you going to throw a glass at my head, too? No. You're going to use me to get my brother. No, that's not what I'm doing at all. I promise. It's clear you're just desperate for a soulmate. No, I was trying to get your attention all along. I just thought you were really cute. Wait, really? Would you want to hang out with me? Yeah, yeah, love to. Here's my number. Thanks. That was, like, suspiciously easy. No, there's got to be a catch, right? There definitely is. He just said that I was harassing him, and he agrees that fast? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're cute. I know. Oh my gosh, what if he, like, murders you or something? Okay, let's not manifest that for me. Thanks. It should be one, four... Yep, this is it. Hey, uh, welcome in. <laughs> Hi. Both of you? Listen, we just have a few things to ask you. So, why are you such a whore? Excuse me? Uh, I'm just messing with you. That's not one of the questions. Okay, not funny, but go on. You need to tell me how tall your best friend is. She's 5'6", why? Because my soulmate is 5'6", too. Don't tell me you think she's your soulmate. She might be if you're my brother's. I already said I don't want you as a soulmate. I don't want you either, skyscraper. So, can you help me here? No. What? Why not? I just don't want to. It's because she's a selfish bitch. Can he leave the room? Because he's really killing the vibes. Yeah, bro, get out of here. Listen, I'll help you get my best friend if you help me get your brother. Ah, okay, I guess I can help you. Fine. Deal. Just don't throw any more glasses at his head. I know, that was a one-time thing, I swear. Hmm, I have an idea. I need to go find my best friend. Can you convince your brother not to hate me? I will try my best. Okay, thanks. Bestie. Hey, what's up? I have some tea. Do you want to hear it? Um, yes, always. Do you know that kid who's 7'3"? How could I not? I heard he has a crush on you. Oh, I'm not interested. He's not really my type. What do you mean he's not your type? He's so tall. Yeah, but it's like a little too tall. Didn't you just call your soulmate a walking skyscraper? No, I love men that are two feet taller than me. Right. Just forget it, okay? I don't want him. Wait, please. I'll pay you. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. How much are we talking here? A thousand dollars. Oh, absolutely. I'll do whatever. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna be dirt poor. This is so dumb. He's not my soulmate anyway. Mine's 5'9". Wait, what? Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to. We all do. Well, it's definitely not going to be by drowning. I'm going to pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck. I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my god, that's way worse. No. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time and it picked one for me. What? It picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices. I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again. I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. Hey, are you okay? No, no, I can't pick that. Maybe I should have accepted the first one that it gave me. What's the reason that it gave you? I can't even say it. If it's that bad, just trust your gut and decline it. But what if it gives me this one? If you decline it, it has to refresh your reason. Okay, I'll decline it. Please don't be that. What? What is it? It says none. What do you mean that it says none? It just says N-A. What, like you're just never gonna die? It just must be some kind of mistake. Maybe it doesn't load right? I don't think there are any mistakes. I don't want to live forever. All of you are gonna be gone. I don't think you have another choice. Who is banging on the door right now? Hello? You're under arrest! Under arrest? Under arrest for what? 
You have the wrong person. Does your reason say none? Um, yeah. Then we have the right person. Come on. Stay right here so we can start questioning. Okay. So, what did you do to be immortal forever? I didn't do anything. I just declined the options I got. Lying is only going to make this harder for both of us. I'm not lying. What did you do to hack into the system? I did not hack the system. I can barely log on to my computer correctly. Ugh, you're a stubborn one, aren't you? I'm not stubborn. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Are you going to tell us what we need to know or not? I've been telling you the truth this whole time. This is ridiculous. Wait, guys, she is telling the truth. You took the wrong girl. Oh, then we have to wipe her memory. What? Get ready with me while I tell you why my mom is literally a bitch. So yesterday I went into Sephora with my mom and I went over to Drunk Elephant because I wanted the retinol drops. And she literally wouldn't get them for me because she said I didn't need it. Honestly though, I think she's just jealous because she looks like a leather handbag. But it gets worse because she got the worker to come over and say whether or not it was safe to put on my face. And she literally said no. And I was like, why are you both ganging up on me right now? I just wanted some Drunk Elephant. So obviously I did the only reasonable thing and I started sobbing in the store. And then I swept everything off of the Drunk Elephant display like i guess it all worked out in the end because she ended up getting it for me anyway either way i'm still mad because i asked her for a tiffany's bracelet for christmas and she literally got me one from claire's like ugh, i would never be caught dead wearing that and then i asked her for a lambo for christmas and she literally got me an american girl doll like those two things are not even remotely close to each other she said it's because i can't drive but like i'm gonna be able to drive eventually so why not just buy the car now anyway i literally just want to move out because this household is so toxic Get ready with me to drop my best friend because she's a fake ass bitch. I had this boyfriend, Brian, and like everybody knew because we have been dating for a whole four days and she knew that. And she was over at my house and she was like, I'm cold, can I get a sweatshirt? And I said, yeah, but go to the back because I didn't want her wearing any of my nice ones and getting them all smelly. So I leave or whatever because I had to go to the bathroom and when I come back, she's literally wearing my boyfriend's fucking hoodie. I started screaming at her, but she tried to be all like, oh my God, I didn't know that it was your boyfriend's hoodie. I had no idea. I just knew that wasn't true because he's an identical triplet and his mom puts his name on every time of every clothing item he has. I kicked her out, but she's just so jealous because her mom only buys her CeraVe and not Drunk Elephant, and that's why nobody will date her. Plus, before this, for my birthday, she literally got me a make-your-own bracelet bead kit from Walmart. Like, do I look like I'm five? It's a new year, and I can't afford to have fake friends, so I'm going over to her house to tell her that she's a homewrecker, and I hate her. Get ready with me while I tell you why I'm literally gonna sue Sephora because their worker ruined my life. Yesterday, me and eight of my closest best friends went in there to go dip our grubby little hands into all the tester product. But after like 20 seconds of being in the store, one of the employees came over to us and was like, do you need help with anything? Personally, I wanted a different worker to help us because her makeup looked like shit and she was like 25, which is so old and not up to the trends at all. One of my friends says, yeah, we need the drunk elephant bronzing drops now. But this bitch says, oh, we actually just ran out of those. So we all started screaming at her, like just go get some more from the back. It's really nice. Not that hard to just do your job but she keeps insisting that they don't have any and clearly she wasn't using it because she was so pale so we told her to point us to summer friday's lip balm instead she told us that they were out of those too like do you guys have anything in this entire store hello only reasonable response was for me to throw a tantrum and all of my friends started throwing tantrums too because they got like triggered by me I you would not believe this she comes back over to us and tells us that we're banned for 30 days and that we need to leave the store immediately and it turns out that my sister had the drops all along so i guess i didn't really need to do all that but like whatever world where nobody can lie or everyone is always lying i want to know how everyone really feels about me hey could i borrow one of your cute tops no last time you gave a shirt back to me that you borrowed it smelled like baloney yeah i don't shower for like five days at a time i kind of like bo that's like really really fucking gross i've been selling my dirty socks to men on the internet does anyone have a question on the lecture i hate this class can i leave i wish i could say yes because i hate you but no Sorry, what did you say? Your forehead is shining so bright since your hairline receded so much. Crazy you said that because I actually drew part of my hairline back on. Hey, uh, I was wondering if you want to go on a second date. No way. The last date was so bad, I had to do a three-day juice cleanse to get rid of all the negative energy you gave me. Whatever, I only went out with you because you have big boobs. And I only went on a date with you because I felt bad. Did you do something different to your hair? Yeah, I got a haircut the other day. Don't do it again. <laughs> really? That's it? Who even cares? It's just hair. This game is such a joke. Sis, can I do something for a task? Yes, but why do you have scissors? I need to cut your hair. Why would you need a piece of my hair? Hm, I don't know. That's creepy. Why would I do that? I mean, if it wants me to, I will. Where are you going with my hair? Uh, don't worry about it. It's a task. The last 10 are the hardest. Be careful. I'm really not worried about that. 
DNA results will be back in three days. Okay, thank you. Hi, um, I'm here for my results. You're the girl from three days ago. Come with me to the back. Why? I'll tell you when we're back there. Listen, you are not who you think you are. I'm sorry, I'm not following here. Do you know the story of that lost royal family? Yeah, who doesn't know that story? Your DNA matched up with the queen. What? Don't tell me you think I'm royalty. There is no what if. Your DNA lined up perfectly. Just let me see the test. I cannot give this to you. I'm sorry. Why? I, it's confidential. You just can't have it. But I need it. If I give you this document, you have to rule. Rule what? You have to give up your everyday life and rule all of us as royalty. I guess I really don't have a choice. Do not tell anyone you got that from me. Okay, I won't. Break in! I'm going to get arrested, thank you. They left the door open? Idiots. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Ma'am, what are you doing in here? Um, housekeeping. Yeah, right. Wait, no, please, I can explain. I am a princess. Oh my god, you're right. Your eyes. My eyes? My eyes? What do you mean, my eyes? Come with me right now. We have something to do. Okay. Uh, where are we going? We're going to walk in there and stop the family meeting. Oh, we're going to what? I mean, we can't just barge in. That's, like, rude, right? No, the crown must go to the rightful ruler. <laughs> Everyone, the lost princess has been found. <laughs> Hi. This is ridiculous. I mean, look at the way she's dressed. She's emo. Who says a princess can't be emo? She's not fit to be royalty with that attitude. But look at the color of her eyes. That can't be. They are almost identical to her mother's. Your mother? Guards, I want this girl out of here. Right now. I'm going to overrule you guys. You can't just proclaim things like that. Well, I just did. She's kind of badass. Apparently, I am the rightful ruler, and I want to take that place. That's not going to happen. I don't believe you. I need proof. Fine. Show her my DNA test. But this test says that there's two from the royal bloodline. Two? What do you mean, two? Do you have any siblings? Not half ones. Yeah, I have a full sister. There's no way. You both are royalty. What? How is it possible that both of you ended up together? I don't know. We were left on a doorstep. Your sister must agree to rule with you. Mm, there is no way my sister is going to do that. Well, who wouldn't want to be royalty? Her? Yeah, she's kind of a bitch. You must at least try. Okay, but I'm warning you it's not going to work. I'll be back and with my sister to overrule you. Whatever. Get her out of my sight. Mm -hmm. Sis, I have something to tell you. Okay, that didn't sound good. You know how we were adopted? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so we're actually part of the lost royal family. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I already knew that. I'm sorry, what do you mean that you already knew? Oh, because we were left with a blanket that had the royal crest on it. And you didn't think to tell me at any point? No, because I don't want to be royalty. But you have to be. Where is this all coming from? How did you find out? It's part of my task, okay? We both need the money. Just come with me. We won't need it if we're royalty. I'm so close to finishing, please. Only if you give me 25% of the prize. Fine. Oh, uh, you're back? Yeah, I am. And you brought your sister. Sup, motherfuckers? Tonight we will have the ceremony to officially crown you guys. Tonight? You guys cannot just kick us out <laughs> like this. It's already too late. Congratulations, you are now crowned. This is the craziest thing to ever happen to us. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Do I have to keep this on like all the time because it really hurts my head? I like that song. What was it called? Oh, it's called Runner Up. Wait, I like that song. What was it called? Bro, I literally just said it. I'm craving pepperoni pizza. We should all get some. We should get pepperoni pizza. Do you have ears? Yep. Think go uh, like this little Dude, thing. stop. Oh, <laughs> I get it. No, you're too late. I think you should break up with him. What do you think, Bailey? Wait, what were you guys talking about? What planet are you on? Because it's not Earth. Okay, but if all of us stop paying taxes, they can't arrest everyone, right? No. Ow! Oh no, I don't like this. Sis, could you hold this for one second? Ashes in it. I am so sorry. Yeah, tell that to grandma. I was on the floor now. Great. My project is about 
Uh, just dab, I'm... ew. Oh my god, that was the worst thing I've ever done. If you don't- Just punch me in the face. It wasn't me. You're still holding your hands up like you're- So fluffy, I couldn't resist. Oh no, not this again. Could I borrow cooler? You know, I'm lost in glass. You were just speaking English to me. Oh, would y'all like to sip my moonshine? Uh, what? Okay, but if all of us stop paying taxes, they can't arrest everyone, right? No. Ow! Oh no, I don't like this. Sis, could you hold this for one second? Ashes in it. I am so sorry. Yeah, tell that to grandma. I was on the floor now. Great. My project is about... Uh, just dab, <laughs> ew. Oh my god, that was the worst thing I've ever done. If you don't just punch me in the... You know how much brain storage you have yet? I don't know, but I'm sure it'll be a lot. You need a lot to be able to hold information. I know, it'll be fine. Oh my god, you only got one gigabyte? That's really good, right? This is not gonna end well. Can you hold this for a sec? What is it? Oh, it's a Barbie. Barbie. Okay, why are you petting her? Hey, Bailey, what's up? Barbie. Uh, okay. Don't talk to her, she doesn't have any storage. Bailey, two plus two equals five. Two plus two equals five. Ha <laughs> ha, that's great. The first president was Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. Perfect, that's right. Stop it, you're filling her storage up with useless information. Dora the Explorer. Two plus two equals five. Her information's not even correct. Barbie, two plus two equals five. Dora the Explorer. I didn't think I would use it all that quickly. We have to reset her storage. She's as dumb as a rock. Do you have anything to trade for lunch? Are you seriously going to eat all of that? Bitch, it's wrong with you. Bailey, Amy, hey, what's up? Hey, Chad, we were just talking time ago, right? No, it was like super recently. Stop talking. So cold. Oh, you're cold? Do you want to wear my jacket then? Uh, no, I'm like so dumb. I do not understand this math at all. My shoe does not fit uh, right. That reminds me of the time that Amy got such a bad shoe. Guys, help. She's trying to fight me. I think I'm missing a face. 3 plus 3. 30. Yeah, yeah, that's so right. <laughs> Loved your sense of humor. Could I get a number four? I can't- Do you have anything to trade for lunch? Are you seriously gonna eat all of that? Bitch, it's wrong with you. Bailey, Amy, hey, what's up? Hey, Chad, we were just talking time ago, right? No, it was like super recently. Stop talking! So cold. Oh, you're cold? Do you want to wear my jacket then? Uh, no, I'm like so dumb. I do not understand this math at all. My shoe does not fit uh, right. That reminds me of the time that Amy got- Play truth or lie. I can't do that. I can never tell when people are lying. You have to. We're all playing so that we can find our soulmates. You know what? Fine. What's the worst that could happen? Soulmate has blue eyes. Truth or lie? I really hope that they do. I love blue eyes. Yay, I got it right. No fear. I got mine wrong. Sucks to suck. Soulmate is under six feet tall. I hope that's a lie. I want someone who's six three. <laughs> Okay, maybe a short king? Hey, I'm five feet. There's nothing wrong with being short. How am I supposed to wear heels around them? You can't. Better buy some Crocs. Soulmate has red hair? I hope so. That would narrow down my options so much. Cool, now I have to look for someone who's ginger. No, ginger people are the devil. That's not true. Oh my gosh, did you see the news? No, what is it? This guy who's 5'11 with ginger hair and blue eyes is wanted for a really serious crime. Doesn't that sound like your soulmate? Huh, <laughs> no. Do you know how much brain storage you have yet? I don't know, but I'm sure it'll be a lot. You need a lot to be able to hold information. I know, it'll be fine. Oh my god, you only got one gigabyte? That's really good, right? This is not gonna end well. Can you hold this for a sec? What is it? Oh, it's a Barbie. Barbie. Okay, why are you petting her? Hey, Bailey, what's up? Barbie. Uh, okay. Don't talk to her, she doesn't have any storage. Bailey, two plus two equals five. Two plus two equals five. Ha <laughs> that's great. The first president was Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. Perfect, that's right. Stop it, you're filling her storage up with useless information. Dora the Explorer. Two plus two equals five. Her information's not even correct. Barbie, two plus two equals five. Dora the Explorer. I didn't think I would use it all that quickly. We have to reset her storage. She's as dumb as a rock.